What's going on today, guys and girls? You're back with Phil, PA Exotics, and we are decking out the reptile room today. I've got a lot of fake growth, as you can see, everywhere, uh, but I never really had live plants. Like, I've got a couple of jays over here that I just stick in the corner. There's one, and there's a smaller one, um, but not much greenery, you know what I mean? Nothing for them to climb on, play with. I wanted some greenery, so... As you saw, uh, we got some bromeliad, some pothos, uh, what's that, bird's nest, and I don't remember what this is called. That's, that's called if you can see it. But uh, yeah, I was hoping to spread this out. It looks like it has three shoots. Maybe we can make it grow out a little bit more. <clears throat> Let the crest it's playing it when I'm cleaning. Same thing with the bromeliad. I'm gonna adjust this over to here so it grows out a little bit, gets a little bit wider. Be a nice climbing spot for the crested. I've already washed everything down, uh, repotted everything, cleaned it, new soil. So it should be all good. It shouldn't have any chemicals on it. And uh, it's not like I have anything planned on it right now. It's gonna sit for a little while. That pothos is gonna grow a lot. It's just starting out, you know what I mean? But the bird's nest looks really nice. It's really well started. But uh, it's all going to go. I made a little shelf on top of tanks, new tank, that slides back and forth. Um, it's just a piece of plywood with some 2x4s. Slide back and forth, so if I want to get them, I can just remove it or slide it down. Um, we're going to put one of the plants big, big, and then hopefully the other three will fit up there. We'll see how it looks in a minute. Just hang out. So it looks a little bit better now. Once we get the pothos growing, we can split it up a little bit and uh, we can put it in more of a hanging basket over the side so it covers it up a little bit. Still going to get a PA Exotics on there. Still going to sticker bomb it. But plants take a while to grow anyways, you know what I mean? So we got a little bit. I can't remember what that plant's called again. But uh, the one on the left there. That should grow taller, I would imagine. I hope. I'm going to split the stalks up a little bit, spread them out so it grows up. Kind of like three separate trees. That way I can just put all the crested geckos in there. I like to have them out. Put three or four out on the on the table at a time. Now I can just put them in the tree. I'm scared that if I put too many in the bromeliad, they'll get lost. <laughs> I can find them a lot easier than that thing. In that thing, not in it. But, uh, everything's all watered. Everything's good to go. Once the pothos grows out a little bit more, like I said, we'll split it and uh, put smaller ones in the hanging basket so it drapes down over this side. And I do know that animals are not supposed to eat pothos, so I won't be letting Tank get any of it, even though I don't know where he is. He's under there. I don't know if you can see. Under there in his water dish. But that's it for now, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. If you uh, have any questions or comments, concerns, or just want to tell me anything about my plants or animals, feel free. Let me know down below. I uh, would love the feedback. If you've also got any more plants in mind that are good for a reptile room, please tell me. Because I would love to have some more. But Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.